is not the first type of case that has this fact pattern that I've heard. It's an old story. Miss Bauer, Mr. Rodriguez was your boyfriend for a while. You wanted a car. You didn't have sufficient credit to get the loan in your name. So Mr. Rodriguez co-signed on the loan. Correct. I did have the credit because I was new to California from Idaho. I don't Idaho. care what the reason was. Bottom okay. line was you didn't have sufficient credit to get a loan in your name. He co-signed for the loan. But everybody recognized it was her car, correct? Yes, Your Honor. But you're on the hook for the loan. Yes. And then you break up. Correct. And then you take the car because it's your car. Of course. And his loan. And according to Mr. Rodriguez, he started to get notices, which he's prepared to show me, that you were late in making payments. Maybe you made them, but you were late. And late payments, when somebody co-signs on the loan, affects their credit. You do understand that. Yes, Your Honor. And did you make late payments? That's a what couple? he has there. I That's do a have couple. a couple is two. Proof of my payment. A couple Your Honor. is answer my question. Did you make late payments? Yes, I did. Late payments affect Mr. Rodriguez's credit. So what he wanted you to do was refinance the loan and get the loan out of his name. Because right now, you don't love him anymore. You don't sleep with him anymore. You don't take care of him. He doesn't take care of you. He gets no perk from being a co-signatory on this loan. So he said, refinance the car and get it out of my name. Yes, and Your Honor. And I was not able to refinance the vehicle into my name until I made about nine months a consecutive payment. But you couldn't do it because you were making late payments. So that another company is going to say, why do we want to take over this problem? That's not what they said, Your Honor. Well, I don't care what they said. Did you refinance the car in your name? No, I did not. Well, you have to understand that I am not going to tell him to give you the title to this car, which is what you're suing for, because you have the car. Correct. I do have okay. the vehicle. You are not, I'm not going to have him sign over the title to this car in your name and keep him on the hook for the loan. I understand that, well, Your Honor, that's and I'm ridiculous. here to get what I've put into the vehicle. Can that's I, not going to happen. Can I tell you something? Just a second. That's not going to happen. The right thing to happen is you refinance the car in your name and I will get him to sign over the title to you. Why should I? It's your car. He was doing you a favor. Now you want me, now you want me to give you $5,000 and you give him the car and then he's got a car that's depreciated in value that's still got a loan on it that he never wanted. Why would I do that? Does that sound fair to you? That does sound fair, Your Honor. That does sound fair? I don't know in what country it sounds fair. It doesn't sound fair in America.